Peace, peace, peace. <clears throat> Welcome to the Revolutionary Wealth Builders channel, where we deliver wealth education to the people. Welcome back. We're back on YouTube, and I have a real quick discussion that I want to share with you guys based on some information that I came across this morning while I was reading. So I came across an article that discuss the reality of hyperinflation. So a Bank of America representative was quoted as saying that at the very least, transitory hyperinflation is inevitable. So I'm going to repeat that. At the very least, transitory hyperinflation is inevitable. So what does transitory mean? Transitory means a short period of time. It could come and go. What does hyperinflation mean? Hyperinflation is simply the inflation of commodity prices at a different speed. Inflation is when prices go up. That's what they tell us. Hyperinflation is when that process is expedited exponentially. But what hyperinflation truly is, is money printing and then the velocity of all of the money that has been printed begins to speed up and there's a lot of money sloshing around in our economy and that money begins to chase fewer goods. So when you hear things like supply chain shortages or gas shortages and then there are stimulus checks being sent out to all Americans, everyone has paper dollars or currency and they want to spend that on something. When everyone begins to spend their paper currency on things and there are a shortage of those things, it in essence can produce hyperinflationary events, meaning the prices of a small amount of goods go up exponentially and go to very high prices very quickly, which renders your currency valueless or worthless or you lose the purchasing power or you can't buy as much with it. So how do we protect ourselves against hyperinflation? Well, first, we have to understand that hyperinflation can quickly turn into a depression-like situation in, in our communities. So we have to protect ourselves in multiple ways. The first thing you have to do is make sure certain that you are secure in your workplace, in your job, that you are a valued employee. You must also do a thorough analysis of yourself and understand what are my skills with my hands and what are my skills with my mind. Do I know how to fix cars? Do I know how to build raised bed gardens? Do I know how to farm? Because in hyperinflationary instances, you are going to need to rely on your hands and your mind in order to generate income and feed your family. Something else that you need to seriously consider is purchasing a lot of the things that hold intrinsic value for you and your family right now, as opposed to waiting till the price of those things go up to get and get to a point where they are unaffordable or you can't obtain them. Because we also have to understand that sometimes it's not about price. It's about availability of items as well. If there is no gas, there is who cares how much money you have to buy gas if there is no gas available. If there is no chicken available, it does not matter how much money you have to buy chicken. If there is no milk available, it does not matter how much money you have to buy milk. If there is no fruit and vegetables and produce available, it is inconsequential as to how much money you have to buy these things. So it may be to your advantage to secure things that you need in your home before supply chain shortages or before hyperinflation sets in. To better understand hyperinflation, study Weimar Germany 1923. Interestingly enough, I came across some information and individuals in Weimar Germany after World War I did not understand what hyperinflation even meant the week before hyperinflation began to set in in Weimar, the Weimar Republic. But a week later, everyone in that area of the of the of Germany understood what hyperinflation meant also study the hyperinflationary events that took place in Zimbabwe also study the hyperinflationary events 
that took place in Venezuela. I have been speaking about and alluding to the realities and possibilities of hyperinflation for over three years now, just based on the data set that I study, the information that I have been uncovering, and the people that I follow in the in the world who deliver accurate information. And I think that it is very important for us, specifically as poor and impoverished people of color and black people in inner cities all around America to really understand and take a macro view or get a macro understanding of what hyperinflation is and how it can impact our communities. So again, I'm going to repeat and then we're going to get off this with just a quick video to keep you guys up to speed. Number one, Take an audit of all the things that you do well. What skills do you possess in your mind and what skills do you possess with your hands that can help you generate income? Number two, buy things and invest in things that will help sustain you through a hyperinflationary event. If you have a surplus of cash sitting on the sidelines, Maybe it's time to buy that pickup truck that you might need to help people move or to create or generate another stream of income. If you don't know how to farm, learn how to farm. Invest ahead of time in seeds. You're going to need them. I know some of these things sound a, a bit pessimistic, but what you don't want to happen is for these things to come to pass and you are not prepared. Buy all of the things that you need in your household that hold intrinsic value ahead of time if you can. Take an account and make sure that your the work that you do at your job is needed and always be prepared to make adjustments. And remember, we're investing our paper dollars and our currency into hard assets that hold and store value. Peace and love and good luck. Like, share, and subscribe. This has been the Revolutionary Wealth Builders channel where we bring wealth education to the people. Like, share, subscribe. Peace and love and good luck.